Welcome to Rick's Corner. I brought back one of my favorite people, Noella Downs, and this isn't an interview, but it's more of a discussion, like a talk show, because she has so much to say. And there was a there was a movie out years ago with Kevin Bacon called He Said She Said. You remember that? Yeah, I remember that. Well, that's what I remember we're, Kevin Bacon in that. That's what we're gonna yeah. do. Yeah. I say, you say. <laughs> See, I need I need my opinion, and I need a woman's opinion because right. we may agree or we may not agree, and it doesn't really matter because that's what this is all about. Right. So, we talked about training. We talked about diet exercise, sets, reps, and it seems like every time I do a show, that's what people want to know. What did you eat in the 70s? How did you train? How many sets? How many reps? What did you weigh? How did you lose weight? Well, we've been over and over and over that, and I can go over it again till the end of the earth, and you uh, still may not understand it. But I want to get into other stuff, because other things that, that really affect training and bodybuilding and your lifestyle are relationships. And I had uh, one segment out on relationships, and everybody liked it, so I'm going to do relationships part two part with does. the two of us. Yeah. Because we have like a relationship, <laughs> as you can see. Um, the thing is, is that in relationships and bodybuilding, I've found, and you, you as well, uh, and you're married, um, people have to fit into your lifestyle. Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's tough on the other side, I think, a little bit, too. Is it for I you? I think so. For me, it's great. I mean, uh, my, I have to have, happen to have a, a husband who's into fitness, too. Mm -hmm. So uh, he's into different kinds of activities, but he understands the concept of training and and wanted to eat well and all that stuff and time. Well, yeah, see, that's, that's what it takes. Because I've had, um, back when I was younger, I had a relationship with a girl, a very beautiful girl, and she was into bars and smoking and drinking. Ah, uh, yeah. And I really wasn't. I played in a rock band, and I was up there playing while she's out drinking and smoking and dancing, which is like she liked to do. But it wasn't my lifestyle, and I hit the gym every day, and she didn't. The biggest problem I had with her is we went to the beach one day, and she says, I don't want to go to the beach with you anymore. And I said, why? She says, because you get more looks than I do. Ah. Uh. I never understood that. Um, I can understand from a woman's perspective. I really? mean, the woman likes to be the center of attention, at least from you, if nothing else. And if you're getting all the attention, then your attention is, you know, sprayed with saying thank you to so and so, and and yeah. you know, you get a lot of attention. Women like to be the center. Well, I, we all like to be the center. Yeah, that's true. And um, that's true. <clears throat> I can't help it if that's what happens to me, because it happens everywhere I go, and it's just me and my personality. But that's the fun of life. And then I bring people into what I do, and I make them laugh and have fun with them. It's not an intimidating thing to me, but I've been told <clears throat> by many and women that I'm intimidating, and it scares them because they feel like. Um, I've done this and that, they haven't, I'm in shape and they're not, and they're, they're afraid of it. I don't think that's right. I don't think that's the way to feel. I don't think it's right, but it's the way people are going to feel if it's something that they don't understand, yeah. and if it's something that they don't think is achievable. And I think until you start training yourself, you don't understand what your body's capable of doing. Yeah. And so you think, well, that's bad, they're lucky, it's their genetics or whatever, and we've worked hard for this. So to what, what I encourage people to do is to try it, and at least uh, with their partner, and yeah. see if they like it, and see the transformation that happens for them, and that does bring them together because suddenly they're both feeling the changes they're both feeling excited right. about it and it's exciting for the partner to see you transforming it's nice to have a nice body next to you well why not I mean that's yeah. what it's all about you work towards things but but people on the street back in the 70s when it was Arnold and Franklin we go to Zuki's Deli and oh hang God, out we yeah. go to Hollywood and do stuff and and we were big um, <clears throat> and we attracted attention um, but it was a different type of attention we didn't try to show it off we wore baggy shirts, we weren't really blatant about it, but people mm. didn't notice. Well, you couldn't help but notice. You couldn't help but notice, yeah, exactly. But but uh, it's more acceptable today. Back then it was like, those guys are just bodybuilders or freaks. They hang out down at the beach all day long and work out all day. <laughs> you know. And, and we did, but we didn't. We also had jobs and we did things beside that. And then we go out to clubs at night and we meet women and they look at us and say, oh my God. And you know, let me feel your arm. Right, and, and right. And right away, they, we got we, we sucked him into it. We were in the, the clubs in the marina. It was kind of dark in there. I did this once before, and I bring him outside. And there's a big light where the entry is. And I give him the light to see if they're looking good. Yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. And, 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 it, and, <laughs> and if they didn't look good under the light, I shove him back. Like, like, throw, the, throw the fish back in the ocean, man. But um, I think they were afraid to unclothe uh, in front of us because we were in shape oh and they felt they were. That's true. I never thought of it that way. I think back then, at least for women, as, as long as they were shapely, it's a little bit harder now. Yeah. Women are more in, you know, in shape, and they understand fitness more. But I think back then, you know, pe women just looked that needed to look like women. Yeah. But a lot of women don't just look the way you see people on TV. No. And they're never going to. And you guys no. look bigger than life. Right. So it's it's that you know. Difference. Well, we were we were concerned about our diet, and you know, we'd always watch our carbs and take our protein, do what we did. And they would look at us like, can't you just eat normal when we go out? And normal to me was a steak and maybe cottage cheese and something like that. That is normal. Yeah, yeah but it's intimidating for the other person. Yeah, because they won't eat crap. Yeah. And so they yeah, they like don't want, yeah, exactly. But, exactly. but every woman we met, it was always, well, I'm a little overweight, so I don't really, you know, it's like, I don't uh, care, it doesn't matter. You know, we'll put the lights down low and then we'll flash them on later. 
So <laughs> just a sabotage. <laughs> but, but relatives too, and, and, and uh, not so much, maybe mm-hmm. a little bit in my family, my relatives. Why do you have to go to the gym? Why do you have to do this? Why just can't you be like normal people? And to me, what's normal? I mean, I don't know what normal is anymore. Well, I think it's, it's I think there's difference between normal and uh, like everybody else. I think we're normal. I, I think there's a, it's a specialty sort of thing. And um, people that like uh, fitness and like bodybuilding specifically have to have a different kind of mentality. It's an individual sport yeah. a lot of times. Um, but you also meet tremendous people in there. And so it becomes like a, a sense of camaraderie because you're kind of trying to achieve the same things. Um, although we are going to talk about that later, there's also some rivalry in that. Yeah, yeah. Um, it, it, there is. And, and uh, this is a lifestyle that we live. And if someone wants to join in with us, they'll benefit by the same way. Absolutely. You know, if I had a dollar, once if I had a dollar for every rep I put in the gym over the years, I would be a mega millionaire. But it's not Are about. You not? Well, yeah, but that, that's, <laughs> that's some other things. But it, but it's not it's not that's not the answer. It's not the money. It's what you carry, the benefits you carry with you. Yeah. You know, training, you carry your benefits around 24-7. You Absolutely. can't take that away from somebody. I, I agree. Mentally, physically, emotionally, everything. Yeah. Yeah. Now.